Hey y'all, <laughs> it's your girl Daisha. If you don't know by now, now you know. I am so tired of myself, y'all. Like, I'm so tired of myself to the point where it's just like, what are you doing, girl? Like, I need to be baptized and reborn again. And I need to, like, renew my whole life at this point. I need to become a whole different person. That's the topic for the day, is identity. I need to figure out who I am as a person. I need to figure out who I want to be as a mother. I need to figure out who I want to be as in my career. In all areas of my life, I need to figure out what I want to do, who I want to become, or who I am, and where I need to step to become the person that I already am inside of me. So, if you don't know, which I'm pretty sure the world doesn't, because I'm such a private person, but I just been experiencing, like, a lot in life right now, where it's, like, in January, well, in November, almost, like, December, I moved into my own apartment from um, my boyfriend of nine years home like we lived together and then I moved into my own apartment by myself but we were still together now I don't know what happened in the midst of communication we had along with each other but I feel like there was no loyalty there which is fine so I decided to like break it off like he would never like call or text me like at this point we live in a long distance relationship and I'm no longer talking to you so I just felt like he just wasn't interested in the relationship anymore so I broke it off right first of all I just had a baby so in January I broke it off and then I had a baby in January also um but we still kind of was like doing stuff normally like still going on family trips still like doing stuff for each other as if we were boyfriend and girlfriend but we were together for nine years so like I wouldn't expect nothing differently like and we got three kids together so the moral of me saying like I had a baby one I am going through postpartum depression Not only am I going through postpartum depression, but I am also grieving a loss of a nine-year relationship. That's all I know. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm grieving from going with doing everything with one person to being alone and being um, just self-sufficient and just... Even though I feel like I was kind of that anyway in a relationship, like I always been independent. Like I always been an independent person. I always been able to handle my own. I always been able to like do things on my own. But like I'm going from doing something with somebody for nine years to now having to do everything by myself, which it was fine or whatever. Then on top of that, it's like celebrating birthdays. And I'm so used to us going to doctor's appointments together with our kids. I'm so used to like um going to parent teacher conferences together i'm used to all these things that we did together but now we no longer do together or we no longer have like now we're just co-parenting and like i feel like that has been a lot on me so one going through postpartum two grieving the loss of my relationship three my cousin just got into a motorcycle car accident and he passed away so now having to go to a funeral it's just so many things and dynamics that's going on in my life that's just like things that are new for me like so I feel like God is using me and like this is a change that I need in my life like I go through a lot of stuff but I'm so grateful for it because I feel like I just feel like it's so much transformation that needs to happen on the day that they pulled the plug on my cousin my mother had a heart attack now my grandmother died a couple of years ago from heart disease and like that was my favorite person that was my favorite person ever like in the entire world and i 
I'm sorry. Okay, that was my favorite person in the entire world. And I just feel like I just have my mother left. Like, if anything happened to her. I just feel like if anything happened to her, like, I don't know what I would do. Because I literally feel like I have nobody. Like, I don't feel like... I want my mother, I talk to her every single day. Like, but I also feel like the change is needed. Um, I'm so fed up with myself as far as like recording. It's like the discipline needs to be there. So I was watching a video that I had found on Instagram. And it was basically of a lady saying like, you feel like everybody is using you and everybody is against you and people only want you like i'm such a genuine person i'm a pisces i'm such a genuine person i'm such a loving person i'm so um sentimental i'm such uh like hands-on person like i'm out of touch with reality for real like i live in a fantasy world on on god like i really do like so I am such a genuine emotional person and I feel like people take advantage of that and they use that as stumping grounds to treat me bad or like do me wrong. Don't get me wrong, like I'm such a blunt person, like I mean what I say and I say what I mean, but I just feel like I'm super nice too, so it allow people to like walk all over me or like I'm such a people pleaser. So it allows me to like be just treated crazy people be talking to me crazy people be treating me crazy but I just feel like no more like that's not who I want to be which goes along too with identity like that's not who I want to be that's not I'm not accepting that from nobody and I feel like my whole previous relationship nine-year relationship taught me that like you gotta love yourself enough to walk away you gotta love yourself enough to not allow these people to treat you as such if you see yourself as high royalty how high value high so will they then they'll know how to they treat you how you allow them to treat you if you say that you are valuable and like you are this um wonderful high maintenance valued person then you will treat yourself as such and so will other people because you won't allow them to treat you any other way outside of that get what i'm saying so i had to adjust my mother crown because baby look like no and i feel like that relationship hurt me to the core like hurt me so bad we heard like y'all i still have nightmares at night i feel so lonely i feel heartbroken i still like harp on some memories that we had, and I'm not talking about the good ones, I'm talking about the things that bothered me so bad to the point where it's like, how did you stay for so long? But I think that it was just my time to go through that so that I could have a testimony so that I am able to move forward in life and get to the point that I am at now. So I can't be nothing but grateful. I can't be anything but grateful at this point because I feel like it's getting me to where I need to be in my life to accomplish the things that I want to accomplish. And sometimes even if you love them so extremely much, they are not able to travel with you to the place that you need to go to be the person who you need to be. And that's okay. And I had to accept that that was okay. So, um transform it into the person that I want to become. I want to love myself i want to treat myself with the respect that i need so that my husband can treat me in the way that i need to be treated and treat me with respect as well and love me the way that i love myself because if i don't love myself how can i expect someone else to love me how can i expect someone to give me what i deserve if i don't give myself what i deserve how can i expect someone to respect me if i don't even respect my damn self how can i expect someone to treat me high maintenance if i don't even treat myself high maintenance how can i expect somebody to know my worth and my value if i don't even know my worth and my value so that's a part of the transformative stage it's just like getting to know who i truly am as a person and who i want to become as a person and that is so hard y'all like especially when you're going through so much and on top of that it's like life be life and, and like it really be life and, and i have three children so it's kind of not easy to um navigate through life 
with grieving and having children and working and doing all these things like i really gotta try to find the time to focus on myself and it's not an easy task to do but i'm up for the challenge though like i'm up for the challenge i said i wanted to do youtube and i have not been consistent with it but i don't want to speak on it i just want to do it and i just want to find the discipline to do what it is that i want to do and not what it is that i feel like people expect me to do or what everybody want me to do or because i realize this is my life and no matter what like the life is short like no matter how much we want to live to we want to be immortal okay we're not immortal so i want to accomplish so many things in this time frame where it's just like when i pass away i want to say that i want to feel in my spirit and my soul that i've done everything that i wanted to do or i've lived the life well deserved and well lived you know what i'm saying like i want to travel the world whether that's with my kids or sometimes alone like i just want to travel the world i want to create youtube videos i want to like go out to restaurants and spend however much i want y'all food is the way to my heart like it's the way to my heart like i want to go to restaurants and spend 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 and not have to worry about like oh i don't got no money or i gotta save up or i gotta do no 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 that's not how we live in this life because we are full of abundance health wealth wise all wise like full of abundance and so it is and so it is as it always was and as it always will be so i'm just trying to transform my life to where it's like new you who this like and i don't care if people say that i'm acting different i hope i am i hope i'm acting different i hope i'm being a totally different person i hope it be like who is this person? Like, this is not who you, like, you acting different. Please tell me I'm acting different. Because if I'm still acting the same, something is wrong. And I I need to be changing something. So, the moral of the story is, like, I'm just trying to find myself. Like, who am I? Who am I? And I feel like majority of 20s is supposed to be you identifying who you are as a person. And I feel like majority of my 20s was navigating through a relationship that was miserable and turmoil and i won't say the whole relationship was miserable and turmoil but majority of the relationship is like when i do a reflection it's like why did you stay so just my whole 20s was spent on pleasing somebody else and loving somebody else and giving somebody else all of me and neglecting myself and it was also having children and giving all of them um a lot of me and still neglecting myself so my cup was always empty but i still was giving 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 how can i give when i have nothing left to give you get what i'm saying so it's like it was depleting me to the point where i'm literally losing weight like i look like all uh, bones like so i'm just oh yeah i'm so grateful I'm just so grateful, so grateful. Mm. I'm so I would not change a thing. I would not change a thing. And as much as I wish my grandmother was here and I wish my relationship could have worked out or I wish I would have just said no when I intend when I said no to begin with for the relationship, but then I wouldn't have my children. I would not have my children. So it's like you got to be grateful because a small change can just make the bigger picture so much different and i just feel like i'm just grateful for everything that i went through i'm grateful for all the stuff that like i'm experiencing whether i like it or whether i don't like it i'm still grateful for it because it's gotten me to where i am today i look forward to seeing and becoming the person that i truly want to become and be so I look forward to seeing her and yeah, <laughs> like I'm excited for this new journey and I feel like it's the start of something good. And yeah, I hope you guys tune along with me and experience this life because I plan on just recording. Also, like that's another reason why I wanted to do YouTube It's like I really want to record my life because when I'm gone... And I hope it's really far from now. I would love it if my, like, children can watch my videos. And it's memories. Like, it's basically just memories being recorded. And, like, I'm just 
just excited. I'm excited for the journey. I feel like I'm just ready, y'all. I'm so ready for this new life. And I'm so ready to begin anew and start this healing journey and becoming who I want to become. Oh, back to the Instagram um, video that I was watching. She was saying that, like, basically, you so feel like people like be using you or, like, just taking you for granted, taking your kindness for granted, taking your love for granted, using you to get what they want. And to me, everybody are users. I don't care who you are. Somebody always has to benefit off of something that you're doing. But I got to get out of that mindset. And she basically was saying, like, they're not using you. God is using you. God is putting you in a specific path to either make this other person move a different way or treating you or make it putting you in that situation to put you in the place where you need to be like how I am I've experienced so much stuff and I feel like I just been used and played and toyed with and all of this stuff but what allows me to be so grateful is that like I have that mindset after watching that video of like God put me in this person life to use me use me to either get this person to where they need to be or to, for me to open my eyes to see, like, this is what we not accepting. And this is what we is. And she also said in the video, you got to know when to move along, though. Like, God will put you in this position. God will put you, use you. But you have to know when he is done and he say, move along. You got to move along. Like, you got to find that strength to move along. And I pray every day and I ask God for strength, for courage, for guidance, because baby, I cannot do it on my own. Like a long time I was seeking help from everybody, like my sisters, my cousins, my mother, my friends, my, and it's like, this is your journey. This is your life. Like you got to figure this out on your own outside of God, but like you got to figure this out on your own. And I just feel like two god is just a higher being of myself like god is just a higher consciousness of myself so it's like i pray for that guidance i pray for that courage that strength because i just cannot do this on my own i can't do it on my own god i need you god like i need you higher self ancestors mother earth everybody spirit guys like all y'all got, I got a whole team behind me. So I know, I just know, I just know <laughs> life about to be crazy. But I'm ready for the ride though. I'm ready for the ride. I just need to fill up my gas tank at this point. <laughs> but that's my little rant on me starting, um, holding myself accountable, starting my journey of self-healing, self-love, self-care, um, putting myself first because if not, if I'm not okay, how can I help somebody else to be okay? Especially my children. Like, I want to give them the best life that I can. I want to provide, I want to give them the best version of myself that I can give. I want to give myself the best version of myself that I can give. I want to show up for my friends in the best part, in the best version of myself. Like, and I want them to accept me for who I am, regardless of if I'm the old me or the new me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want to be accepted for me, whoever I may be, whoever I may become. Every day I could become a different person. And I just want to be accepted by that, by my friends, by whoever I'm in a relationship with at the time. Hopefully it'll be my husband, um, by my children. Like, I just want to be accepted for who I am, whoever that may be. And I'm still trying to figure that out. And I feel like it's okay if you feel like... You still trying to figure out life. You still trying to figure out who you are. That is okay. Everything is always okay. Like, it's okay to be heartbroken. It's okay to love and lose. It's okay to love and be loved. It's okay to not know what you're doing. It's okay to go through the turmoil. It's okay if it's the turmoil is back to back to back to back to back. Like, it's okay. It's okay if you have a whole season of reaping. It's okay if you have a whole season of sowing. It's okay if you have a whole harvesting season. Just, it's okay. It's okay, y'all. Like, 
just be grateful for the journey and experience the life that you're experiencing. This is your life. And all you're doing is getting it from a perspective of your own lens. So just be grateful. And if you feel like something needs to be changed, change it. If you love the way that something is already, love on it. Love hard. I feel like that's what life is about. Experiencing, being grateful, and experiencing some more. Like, um, so yeah, like just experience this life the best way that you can. Don't let the troubles get you down. And like, just be grateful for it all because at the end of the day, Anything that you go through is helping you to become the person who you need to be. So any negativity, any like turmoil, just think of it as a pathway for you to get to a place where you need to be, where you have to be, right? That's really all I got to say for real. And it was fun talking to y'all. It was fun this little vent that I'm on and really I'm just talking to myself for real like telling myself that everything is okay and it's okay to cry it's okay to not know what you're doing and like yes I'm heartbroken yes I'm lonely but am I really because I got children but companionship wise i'm lonely yes i cry guess i'm happy some days sad some days but it's okay this is my experience that i'm experiencing and i'm so grateful for it because one day i'm gonna look back on this and be like damn you was fucking heartbroken you done been through hella shit. You done had a baby. You done been through postpartum. You done been through a hella shit. Like, but look at you now, baby. Look at you now. One day I'm going to look back and be like, girl, girl, you know you had to go through that to get here. Like, and I'm so grateful for that. Like, I cannot, I feel like I want to say I can't wait, but I can. I can wait. Like, I can wait. I can experience this growth just soak it in the healing just soak it in and i'm i'm so ready i look forward to going through the journey to get to that point and i can't wait for it because i feel like i have so much healing and so much to learn and so much to do that it's like i don't want to even rush the process i don't even want to rush the process like i just want to live in these times of me healing and figuring out who I am. I feel like it's beauty. Like you gotta find you gotta find beauty in the struggle. Like what my dude J. Cole said, like you gotta find beauty in the struggle. There's beauty in the struggle. If you grateful for it, like if you have the mindset of like, bro, I literally gotta go through this right now. Like, yes, it's hurting, yes, it's painful. But I'm so grateful to be to be going through something and still be grateful for it shows how powerful you are. Like to be going through so much and you just all you can say is thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Lord, I want to thank you. <laughs> that is like it just shows your true power. Like, oh, you are so powerful. So up, devour it. Like ugh. to be like that is powerful. And maybe it's someone out there that's like, just like me to where it's like, you feel like the world is crashing. Life be life and kicking your ass. But I'm here to tell you that like, this too shall pass. The storm is passing over. It will be okay. Like famine don't last. Storms don't last. They may return. But they don't last. Not always. So, just be grateful. And, yeah. I look for y'all. Hold me accountable, please. Like, message me. Comment on my videos. Like, y'all. What had Like, girl, what's going on with the next video? Like, because at this point, like, I 
feel like I've been ready for it, but it's just the discipline, like, and the consistency. But I just feel a change, like, we'll see. We'll see. I'm done talking about it. Like, I just want to do it. I just want to do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. But this is my rant, and I don't care. Like, I didn't know what I wanted my video to be about. I just didn't care. I just said, girl, just set the, the phone up and just record. Just set the camera, press play. Set the camera up, press play, or record, rather, and record that drawing. Like, it's nothing to it. Just set, the, set it up. Set the camera up and press record and post it. It's not that hard. It's not that hard. <laughs> it is hard though, y'all. It's real hard. It's hard. It's hard. I'm not gonna let life phase me. <clears throat> it's my life. I have to take control of it. It's kind of like your emotions. You gotta be in control of your emotions. You gotta be in control of yourself. You gotta be in control of your actions. It's the same thing with life. You gotta be in control of your life. And I'm taking back control of my life. Because at some point, I put it in somebody else's hands. And they ain't know what to do with it. They fumbled it. But that's on me. That's on me, baby. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and I take full responsibility, full accountability for that. Because that's on me. But I won't hold y'all much longer with my little identity rant. And I look forward to seeing y'all in my next videos. And I look forward to the growth and to become who I am destined to become. So I'll see y'all later. Thank you for watching my video to this point. Thank you for hearing my rants. And I wish y'all more than the best in life. And I wish you love, light, healing, guidance, strength, courage. I just give it all to you. I just give it all. And you got this. Like, I got this. We got this. Both two togetherness. We got it. And then I'll catch y'all later until the next video.